W Plan in Greer will be reopening on May the 4th, and about 11,000 employees will be going back to work, which, as Melanie Palmer explains, may have a ripple effect on other businesses nearby. Assembly lines at the BMW plant here in Spartanburg County will once again be roaring very soon. And for businesses around town, that means getting closer to normal. Denise Vandenberg is doing what has become the norm at her restaurant, preparing pickup and delivery orders. Right now, she's missing a chunk of her customers that she typically relies on for lunch, dinner, and everything in between. We have a lot of birthdays, going away parties. Just a lot of functions they, they host here. She's talking about BMW employees, and she's far from alone. A few miles down the road from the BMW plant is South House. Employees there tell us they've been feeling the punch of the BMW shutdown. That's half of our employees that come, yeah, well, that come in for lunch. Customers that come in. But with plans to get things back up and running in just a matter of days, restaurant owners say they're optimistic. And it's not just limited to the food industry. Everything from church donations on Sunday morning or during the week now, the laundromat, um, things that have nothing to do with BMW per se, but that ripple effect goes throughout our county. Spartanburg County Council Member David Britt says business from the plant goes far beyond the county. It trickles across the entire state. He tells us having production at the plant going again could be the first step to getting things back to normal. It's sort of a light at the end of the tunnel for a lot of people. I mean, it, it may signal the, the return to some sense of normalcy for, for our community, just knowing that the, the plant's opening. And even though dining in isn't an option right now, restaurants located near the plant say they're ready for the uptick in pickup orders they're anticipating from BMW employees. When things do get back going here at this plant in Spartanburg County, things will look a little different than usual. A spokesperson here tells us they have implemented new guidelines and procedures to prevent the spread of COVID-19. In Greer, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. Uh, that plant started its production break back on April 3rd. Since then, a spokesperson says they've been using a variety of deep cleaning methods.